All right, so this is the, uh, if it'll get there. All right. Yeah, this is the, ne the next episode of uh, Guild Wars. Uh, so there might be some lag again. I'm just trying a few things out. So I know what's wrong. Um, I mean, I've known it was wrong since the beginning. I just thought I could kind of work around it, but um, it's looking like I probably won't be able to. Uh, the problem is, uh, and, and I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious, it's not like I didn't know what was going on, um, but I have a nasty habit of leaving my computer on for a long time, for like days on end without actually properly shutting it off. Um, so, because my uh, my other computers, I usually just leave them on because all I do is uh, like look on you know YouTube and stuff like that, so... They're not doing anything intensive, but on a computer like this where you're not only emulating Nox and uh, running OBS on top of that, uh, that's pretty intensive. So leaving it on for that long and then suddenly putting stress on it day after day, it's not good. So you want to, after you record something or do something like that, you want to turn it off and turn it back on. Um, I've been trying to like hack my way around it, try to like do everything I can. Hopefully this one turns out better, but if not, I guess from now on I'll just have to like deal with that on my end. But yeah, just for any of you out there who are doing this, if your computer starts acting, not as well as it should uh that's it's a thing but yeah most of i mean it, like i said most people should know it's it's fairly obvious uh so i'm attacking kind of late this time as you can see uh we basically won this one already uh let's go take a look at my fort so no one's attacked me i don't think yeah i haven't been attacked i haven't attacked yet obviously those are from last guild war oh, so let's just get in there um Let's see, so there's only one here. I might hit that one. Probably gonna hit this uh, tower, this main fort here, this main tower. Uh, for sure. So that one's gonna be first. This is obviously taken down. So I'm that one first, and then I'll figure something out afterwards. Uh, let's go in there. 140. Okay. Hmm, so. I think I'm just going to do what I did last time. I'm actually, I was actually kind of looking forward to this just because I want to use it a little bit and uh, ox slots again. Uh, even though my ox slots is, like I said, the, my ox slots isn't very good. But yeah, I like I like I like doing this anyway. Uh, so hopefully, the idea here, I have 241 speed. She might outspeed me because people tend to make her pretty fast. Are they like 250 speed fast? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. Uh, and I'm bringing her along because she should one shot him. Uh, she's just gonna sit there and um, hit her, and she'll bring her with her, so she'll get dual attacked a lot. Um, she's gonna S3 and probably kill her and probably him. Um, but yeah, who knows? We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the only problem is, is she's going to be focusing on her, so I'll need to revive her with that. Uh, okay, so that, so that, that team is fairly locked in. I'm probably going to run... This one's a little trickier just because this here is going to be annoying. So I think what I'm going to do... Actually, this is really bad. Um, a big issue is going to be the Zerato because he can cleanse immunity but she is pretty good at just cleansing a lot so let's go with that hmm I don't I might just go with him there and someone else someone tough can take a beating so he's I need maybe a bait for him so maybe like this, because I think I'm gonna stick with him, because he can heal debuff. He'll take he'll remove the buffs, but the misses won't debuff him, and, and she might miss too. So that's a good opportunity for that. Um, she has the defense buff, which she'll get every so often. Uh, she has counterattack, so she's just kind of a placeholder. I need to think about who to bring here though. Uh, I really like. Oh, actually, I think I might just run. Yeah, I might just run Lilius here. Yeah, there we go. That's a good. That's a good shot. Uh, so Lilius is gonna focus her because I really want to kill her as soon as possible. Oh, I mean, there you go. Maybe that's obviously 
Duh, that seems like a pretty stupid idea considering um, her attacks will heal her and well, basically everybody. So maybe something like this. This looks pretty interesting. Yeah, I think I kind of like this. Um, or maybe, yeah, you know what, I think... No, that's not going to work either. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, hopefully she won't die. Oh, actually I have to go replace her artifact here a second. Um, equipped. A Ravi, uh, regular Ravi, I mean, is on uh, the XP farming artifact, which obviously is not... Uh, you don't want that. Oh, that's a weird glitch. Uh, okay, so let's change this. For her artifact, obviously, I, I think I've said this before, but what I run on her is this. Uh, some people run Sacred Scythe. Uh, I think that's, that's a pretty good option, too. Um, just because we could do more damage and more lifesteal on top of her S1 lifesteal. Uh, let's hopefully I can survive this. Uh, Zerato doesn't do too much damage usually, and if he does do damage, I can just probably focus him and just kill him easily. Um, but I think the, the, the person I should focus is going to be her, so we'll see how this goes. Battle in progress. Yeah, let's just do it anyway. Um, I think that like they might drop 80 or 60 or some shit, and then you know, I'll drop them another 80. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, it's looking like um, the hacks I'm trying to do aren't, aren't really going to help at all. So... Let us boost you up. We'll soul burn you. Last time I think... Let's see. Yeah, I didn't need to soul burn that. Uh, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Um, okay. Now there's this. So, it's cool here. Let's see how this goes. And she's gonna S3. The debuffs will still hit, but um, oh, this is really bad. Debuffs are gonna hit, but oh, well, oh, there you go. Okay, wow, he actually got her. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so this is dangerous because she's got defense break and she can't really survive that. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, that's a lot of effectiveness. Um. I think I'm just gonna heal her. And keep that. Yeah, let's just heal her. Yeah, that defense break is scary. So she's gonna hit her S1. Touch of Rekos healed everybody else. Okay, that's all right. Can just do this. Oh, that's good. I forgot about that. I'm such an idiot. Uh, this is this will fall off in a little bit, so I guess I'll just hit her. Oh, she healed because everybody died. Okay, she resisted that. So let's see if she can resist one more. Ah, oh, that's crazy. So as you can see, for some reason, she's got 1600 defense. Uh, let's find. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like to complain a lot, I guess, is the problem. She's got 1600 defense and 18k HP, and she just gets chunked out like it's nobody's business. Especially because, like, this 10A is weird. She's got high effectiveness, and she still just, like, destroys her with damage. Um, but yeah, I guess that's just me complaining, as always. <sighs> I think I'm going to lose this. So I can revive her... If she, I think she can S1 her to death. Well, she'll be she'll have this, so that's fine. Um, the issue is going to be is I won't be able to kill her before that happens. That's fine. I'll just revive her. Okay. So she's healed. She's going to target the. Her, of course. 
Okay, this is where it gets kind of sketchy because she's going to S3 again. And the first time I had to cleanse it because the defense break was there. The issue being... Yeah, this is, this is hard. I can hit her just to get her low, but this immortality buff is, is kind of annoying. What is this brutality? I think one of these... Is just when the target isn't buffed. Okay, so that's you want to save that for when unable to be buffed. Yeah, so you kind of wanted to use that at some point. Yeah, overall, I think I'm, I might just lose this, which kind of sucks, but here's what it is. Let's hope I hit this. Nope, I missed. So she's not very tanky, obviously. But she got like 9k, yeah. So I need, I really need to resist this. Okay, good. I'm probably still gonna die though, cause. Yeah. This is just not gonna go very well. So I think I'm just gonna revive her. Hopefully I can make it there. I don't think I will. I'm gonna just have to scoop here. So I'll show my Ruel after this, and you all can tell me whether I just I'm a scrub at building her or um, I don't know. Whatever you guys can all tell me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. She's never. She's always as long as I've had her, no matter how good the stats are, she's has been underwhelming as hell. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, I could just be complaining. But yeah. Uh, so this is this. this is that okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna lose this. I'm just gonna give up and save Ruel for later. Okay, let's see how this goes. She's probably gonna hit. Um... Oh wow, she resisted. So she has all her effectiveness stuff on that stupid. Uh... Ah, that's pretty irritating. She has all her effectiveness on that um, Tene. Which I don't know if you know, but it, it's pretty damn irritating to me. Uh, the question is here, do I just hit her and try to kill her as soon as possible? Because if I hit her, she's not going to die. Um, and she's just going to get like the revive buff, which is basically just a huge pain in the ass. Um, so I think I'm just going to whittle her down a little bit. She went first, so she'll have the revive buff later. Generous Rekos. Um, let's use how much damage you get. Five grand, and he landed it on this guy, so I didn't dodge. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for not for being so shit at your job. Okay, burn. Oof. Uh, so I have this. If I hit her, she'll probably die. Um, so I think I'm just gonna save it for you. That's some pretty good damage. Uh, so this is pretty irritating. Let's hit you. Okay, so we can get rid of one of these. I think she's gonna get rid of the attack buff. Yeah, so that's pretty irritating. Okay, that didn't get the second proc. Of course she dies. Yep. And he doesn't dodge for shit. Uh, so let's just burn this here. It's kind of a waste, but whatever. Do this. She should be dead here. There we go, cool. Okay. What does she have? She's got Celestine? Yeah, kind of figured. Uh, so this green is attacking her because, yeah, that's right. Of course, Violet won't dodge for shit because why would he? Uh, let's.
let's there's no reason for you to have debuffs on you so let's do this and then when she comes back around I'll S2 or I don't even need to but I'll do it anyway just to get that going there okay so she has the barrier up again let's do this and so now he can dodge and he doesn't get he doesn't take um, he can't get debuffed, but he's gonna get cleansed if uh, yellow is triggers anyway. Okay, cool. I got that. Okay, counter attack. Yes. Oh well, I still have to kill her first. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I burned it with before. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's do you. Miss. Okay, very good. Thirty-seven. So I, st I do more damage than they can heal, which is good. I really do need to get this. Uh, see, if I had molded this, I don't have enough molas here. If I had molded this, uh, this would be up already, and I might. I don't know if I would cause me like a victory, but. Uh, it certainly wouldn't be so irritating just to have it like missing. The Celestine is pretty irritating, especially on counter. She seems to proc it. She procs it more than I've than I've uh, dodged, which is pretty funny. But it's not funny while you're playing it because you know obviously you're just annoyed by like everything. But sit you. Can't believe I hit that. Okay, that's pretty cool. With Mola, obviously he'd be a lot better, but I'm debating whether or not to um, to Mola him mainly because I'm sort of winning for um, ML Violet. Uh, I'm not gonna pull on him right away. I think I'm just gonna wait until the last week to see who's on the banner after him, because there's word that it'll be uh, what's his name, A Vildred. Uh, well, there's not word, it was just kind of like we all, a lot of us in the Discord and the guild think it'll be uh, Avil. Yeah, a lot of us in the Discord think it'll be Avildred, so we're all just kind of like going under that assumption. This might actually be harder to win than I think it is because, well, fortunately she doesn't get the shield here, but she's, or she doesn't get the heal either, so this is good. I want actually want her to do that because I'm not going to one-shot her. And I can't get attack buff anymore, which just kind of sucks. 6,000 HP. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, nobody actually has any hard evidence as to whether or not um, like she's actually coming out, or he's actually next, but a lot of us are thinking it's gonna be her, or gonna be him. Uh, let's eat the apple. So basically, I'm just eating the apple to, to farm um, these stacks for the, for the S3. Uh, Cause you, like, it's good to a lot of times it's good to just like use it. Like it'd be good to just use it back to back, just because you can, and wait for the cooldown with the with it to go. But I'm yeah, I don't know. Should I S three? No, I'm just gonna wait till I get one more this last stack here, and then I'll do it back to back right now. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, let's hit you with this. Well, what's this here? Okay, so she has that next. This is a perfect opportunity to do this. Let's S3 her. Okay, good. So let's hopefully I can sleep her. No, ah, oh, and she got the counterattack. Yep, that's irritating. So the point of this turn, right? Well, she was supposed to do this. And not get the barrier, which means I could do a little more damage, but uh, yeah, it didn't happen. So I'm just gonna activate this. I'm probably just gonna pause the recording here and then come back later and see if uh, we've made any progress, which I don't think we have. Because every time she counters, he won't dodge and he won't get the attack buff, which means I'm not doing enough damage. And I think I'm just gonna like be stuck here in this infinite loop. So uh, I'm gonna pause the recording and come back if, uh, if I make any progress. 
Okay, so we're back. Uh, I had to let Momo die just so I could get um, her to start hitting him to give him the attack buff because he's on Dreamblade. Um, but she should die now. Uh, when he does counter, when he does when she does this, she counters. Oh well, there you go. Uh, when he counters off of the the miss when she hits him back. Oh, uh, obviously he's not doing it now, I guess, for some reason. Oh, he didn't have the apple up. Uh, I might actually have to stop this again. I thought it was pretty close to being here, but apparently she just counters nonstop. It's pretty annoying. Um, let's see. I just have to burn this. She's going to activate the revive again, which is going to be pretty annoying. And she countered again. She counters more than she triggers my miss, which my miss is 55%. Let's see. <sighs> my miss is like 55%, her counter is 20%, and I still just... I really wish they would have taken this, uh, this soul burn and made it so that she, he did more damage, because as it stands now, like, who cares really? Like, oh, you know, sometimes you get like those, like, big brain plays where it's like, oh, you know, I got the, um, uh, I got the, you know, I, I burned the, um, PS1. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ever make this. Yeah, so I never really have him back to back when I need it, so. That's kind of the problem that's going on here. So then again, there you go, there you go, she counterattacked. I don't have the apple, so I'm kind of stuck here again. All right, I'll, I'll come back. I'll just go to the next fight. Um, just as long as it takes to beat this one. Uh, let's see. So as you can see, my stubbornness paid off. Um, I beat it. Obviously, I lost the first one. Um, but yeah. It's a bit pity on my side, but I was actually, because I had nothing else to do, I was recording how many counters I got. Um, so I attacked her... 45 times and she countered 16 times now some of those were from um, Montmorency uh, and those uh, some of those attacks put her to sleep. So whether she triggered the counter or not, um, you know, who knows? Um, but that's like 45 15 45 3 that's 33 which is 10 percent more than 20 um, Of course, it's not properly sampled and all that stuff, you know, you'd have to have like hundreds and standard deviation curves and all that but it's just to show you, it just goes to show you how much counter set works against you in every case. Like when you have it, you almost never trigger it. As you can see, um, Violet wasn't triggering for shit. Even though he's got a 55% uh, crit uh, counter chance, basically, because of 55% chance of uh, dodging. But that's just, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, that's a petty thing. Um, I shouldn't have taken that team into that to begin with, so that was more or less my fault anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh, the skilled, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's go with, so a lot of people like to run their Bassars on, um, no, not their Bassars, their, this guy here, Cesarado. On Ayala's, right? I mean, it's kind of the obvious thing. Um, but some people like to run him on. What is it? Oh my, who should I, who should I choose here? Uh, what do you think? Should I take Violet here? Uh, okay, I can put him there. Actually, let's take you. Uh, and probably I should take a different healer here. If that's the case. I actually don't have any other healer to take because the other one I want to take a non How about this is AOE AOE and AOE, so I don't really want to do that Yeah, I might just have to go with this the, the old reliable here um, but Yeah, like I said most people like to run uh, Their Cesarados on Ayelas, but sometimes they'll run um What's that one artifact? 
Uh, this is bad. I, I really am starting to hate Rowana, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Let's see if I can find something. Uh, so there's you. Who's the fastest here? The fastest here is going to be you, so she, he is going to ult her. She's probably going to go get everybody the barrier, and that leaves him and her here to just wreak havoc on everybody. Uh, if I S3 Sid, and even though he doesn't have, um, like, even if I miss Sid, chances are I could still kill him. Uh, back here, actually, now that I think about it, I think I might want um, Crow instead of her just to kill them, but. Let me put Crow here. Uh, I feel like that'd be the best move. Um, but yeah, so Sid's gonna hit her, which is fine. Uh, let's see. He, she'll put up the that uh, the skill null, which is gonna be irritating. Uh, but I guess he can just clear it with his S three. It's kind of a waste of damage, sure, but um, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Um, She'll sit here and, and tank, hopefully. She's probably gonna die, like, she's just gonna get two shot by uh, Acid, which kinda sucks, but hopefully she can do something against uh, one of these two. Maybe just like S3 here. So he'll clean, he'll cleanse the um, skill null, and then maybe she'll just come in here and like destroy one of these. Problem is, uh, she might go, like, they might go, they might all go before I get a chance to go, which I, I think is gonna be the case, but uh, at least she'll die, lose the buff, and then I'll kill her later. Um, which is what I'm going for there. Hopefully Charles procs a few counters. Like if he, if he counters him once and doesn't miss, then he should be dead. But that's, again, my luck generally tends to be pretty shit when it comes to this. The idea up here is that um, they all have AoE, so they're gonna activate her passive a lot. The, the main problem is going to be that uh, Cicerato is gonna hit us with the defense break. Um, well, there's two chances to defense break. Uh, the issue is having to hold off my cleanse with him uh, because there's two, and I don't know the speeds. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And and if he's on Ayelas, I'm in really big trouble. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I mean, it is what it is. I've been pretty trash the last few. Um, Sometimes even I'm amazed. The last few uh, guild guild wars. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know why I'd expect it to go any differently, but we'll see how this goes. Losing to us. Um. I mean, looking at this, you probably see uh, the mistake already. Is I should have waited to get the debuff and then hit it. Alliance. The problem is, if Cesarado hits his debuffs and Ken hits, we're probably gonna die. So either I I bite the bullet here, Zerato, um doesn't land his. Defense break and then cleanses and then he'll land his defense break probably. But he'll probably land all three of them. Let's be honest. Um, then she'll go and then they'll they'll go afterwards and it'll be a huge pain. So let's see how this goes for now. Um, I'm gonna activate this. So this should completely nullify um, Cesarato's turn, other than like his skill null. What is that? Let's see. Thirty six. That took about a third of his HP. That Cesarado might be damaged. Uh, see what happens if I do this. He's gonna counter because he's gonna get the debuffs, and then I guess. Oh wow. Okay, so no crits, which kind of sucks. So he's about half health, and he does have it. So that's. I think I already lost this. Let's take a look at what happens. Yeah, I already lost. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! What happened there? <laughs> oh my gosh! What the? They had they had a lot of HP left. I've never. I don't think I've ever chunked anyone out that hard. Something might have gone wrong there. I don't know. I have to go look at the footage for that. But yeah, that's that's really weird. Are you prepared for this? <sighs> yeah, that that is that is strange. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, I think my SSB, she's got decent gear, but, uh, I'd like more attack on her. 
Like 4,500 attack. I have like 42, 43, something like that. 4,500 with 15, uh, 15k HP. I think that's good. Um, but yeah, I think the the main problem is a lot of her. Like she has a lot of uh, critical hit damage, which is good. I mean, you know, more damage on SSB is always better, no matter where you get it from. Uh, it's just that. For the penetration effect of the Rengars, you kind of want more uh, just straight up raw attack. Um, but yeah, I mean, crit damage basically evens out. Like the, the the damage you're missing from the penetration of Rengars drink off of just a higher base stat attack um, is made up for when she actually does the counter and she crits and all that. Um, but yeah, look at this. Look at this. Okay. So I healed some there, like. 8% of my HP like that tick so his s3 half hit her with 1600 defense and 1800 so he did 9,000 damage on her I'd like to point that out because I've seen um, significantly weaker like weaker in terms of let's see who am I gonna hit doesn't really matter they all got shields anyway um, let's hit you since you're kind of weak. Uh, it's just I've seen weaker Ruels, like with less HP, less defense, uh, tank hits better. And I'm not talking about like, I don't know. People just have weaker Ruel, like worse Ruels in mind, and they seem to do pretty well. Maybe it's just like I suck at like. You know, it's entirely possible that I just suck, but I'm mean, look at look at that chunk, dude. It's ridiculous. I mean, it'd be a lot bigger, but I have um. Touch of Rekos. Of course, a lot of people run, um, what's that one artifact? Uh, Water's Origin, which I don't disagree with. I mean, I, I was running Water's Origin, but I'm just sort of experimenting because, uh, like I said, I'm really dissatisfied with how she's uh, how she works so far. Um, yeah, like I said, that's just me. Uh, so the question here is, what do I hit? I guess I just hit the S3, or the S2, and then come all the way around for the S3. Okay, cool. So I get to hit um, her next. So I'm going to heal you. If this Acid was built a little better, I think with like an attack buff would be good. Well, to me, right, the the Prime Acid would be running. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that one artifact? Let's hit you. I just want to get rid of you as soon as possible. That crit? I don't think I crit. Oh. That initial, like, damage, the fact that it's so bad, uh... It always bothers me, it always, like, it feels like she's not gonna... She, she, it feels like she didn't crit, especially when they've got the shield, because... I don't know. It's weird, I, I tend to hit into people with shields a lot, I guess. Um... Let's go with... Yeah, this ace hit is just not very good. But even like that, not very good, like I said, half hits me. Which is pretty irritating. Uh, we'll just hit you. Okay, miss. Well, I'll give him that. My Charles isn't doing shit. He hasn't gotten a single duel, a uh, single counter for shit. That's pretty irritating. Oh, balls. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, cool. Oh, she's probably gonna die. Okay, let's hit you. Wow, she survived, dude. Oh, finally, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. S two, S two. Okay, come on. Hit, hit. Ah, missed twice. Okay, I'm gonna have to S3 her. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually curious, because uh, a lot of people's S3s are now hitting people that aren't, like, just uh, invincible. I mean, at first, the patch notes, I think, mentioned Krow. I didn't read it fully, but I, I knew Krow, for one, wasn't just gonna S3 someone who was invincible. Um, from what I've seen, it, it seems like a lot of people, it's, it's um, come on, die already, please, thank you. From what I've seen, oh, uh oh, oh, see, there we go. So he's S threeing. That's very interesting. He's S threeing people who aren't invincible. So that's kind of interesting. Um, basically, just means that people aren't getting. Um, they can't bait anybody with an invincible unit anymore, which kind of sucks. Um, so for those of you out there, just you know, it's important to be more careful now. Um, when using Ruel's S3 on, especially herself, um, but yeah, just anybody. So it's like, oh, I need this one to, to bait. Maybe I need a bait or something with this one. 
Uh, I really do want you, well, oh, well, whatever, I guess. We'll just send him. If he dies, he dies. Yeah, he's died. Um, I really wanted to bring back Charles, but whatever. He did his job for one fight, at least. So that's uh, two victories, uh, one victory and a loss last time. Let's just get this last one out of the way. This video is already going on for 35 minutes. Uh, da -da -da. Let's just see what, you've, what you're rocking here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, this top team does not look very good. Uh, this bottom team... I'm thinking... So let's run... Okay, I think I have a decent team for this. Uh, this top one, I, I don't really feel like dealing with revivers right now. Especially with... I'm so gimped on units. Uh, I could... I kind of like these, because I like to... Um, DJ Basar and then just like kill one of these two. Uh, and then it turns it into a 2v3. Uh, DJ Basar, what's her name? Uh, Yufin, and then one of these die. I think I'm just, I, I usually just kill for the Charles. Um, but the problem is, is, is uh, SSB always crits on grass, so, you know, whatever. Um, okay, that's very curious. Uh, down here, I can just run SSB. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's, uh, let's run you here. Uh, let's run you here. Let's keep you there, up here. Okay, so this looks fine. Um, I have no idea how this is, if this is gonna work. Uh, I think it, it should work. I, I do feel pretty confident about this one. Um, DJ Basar goes pushes everybody forward. She will crit will hit her him. He'll be gone, and then I could just focus on these two. S wanting her will kill her. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't foresee this going wrong, but you know. Sit here, go. Just barely. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, let's. Okay, so I'm gonna have to S1. Did I make it? Who's there? Oh, yeah, she's right in front of me. Uh, 93, 94. Uh, I'm gonna have to S1 her. Uh,. It's S1U. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. Cool. So that leaves her open to this. Uh, let's see how much HP you have. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's horrible, dude. Wow, my, my Yufin is disappointing. He's only got 1200 HP and she missed, a, she missed a kill on him. I'm gonna have to revisit that later. Cause that should not be. That's not okay. I I guess I I should have gone for the SSB here. Oh look, she didn't crit. Okay, so let's just hit you. Get you out of the way there. Okay, so there, their SS. Oh, that's a dude. Whatever. Uh, okay, so she's not critting her, which is it's, it's amazing, honestly. So she's going. This is good. Um, cause she's putting up the skill null on them. Which means I can put up my skill null while removing theirs, so that's cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to S2 with Yufin. Uh, because the threat of this guy is down. There you go, see? You don't have to worry about that. Oh, crap. Okay, so he's back. Uh, let's just do it anyway. Um, oh, wow, I didn't actually. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I had the skill null. Idiot. Uh, let's see. Let's hit you. Oh, oh, yes! Okay, cool. This should be... This should be it. Okay, let's hit... Who's... Oh, I forgot. That... See... I don't really pay much mind to Yufin's, uh silence. And her strip. But it does come in pretty handy, uh, I gotta say. My exclusive equipment on her is the one that boosts her S1 damage. I think I think that's still the way to go, even with like my like the more I use her, the more I tend to respect her uh, her S2, like the, everything how loaded it is, because it, it is a silence, a strip, attack, and speed buff all in one attack, 
and it's AOE, and it, it does a surprising amount of damage. Um, but even even all that said, I'm, I'm still I still think I'm gonna go with the S1 uh, extra damage. 30% damage is nothing to sneeze at. Um, so yeah. Okay. Let's just do, let's just burn it. Why not? Let's have fun. Fourteen million. Yeah. Uh, I like you, Fiend. Uh, there's just not a lot of teams you can bring her into that like you wouldn't want to just bring. Okay. I'm just gonna have the S one here. She's, he's probably gonna counterattack, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, okay. okay she's, she's pretty tanky. Okay. Oh, did I stun her? I didn't even realize. Okay. So the good thing here is they're all gonna just focus on Ruel. Uh, and she'll, like, as much as. So 5,000, as much as he's going to take insane amounts of damage from both Ken and her at the same time. Um, let's heal. Uh, kind of want you topped off. Well, actually, I should have healed, uh, I should have S3'd her, uh, SSB. Well, I could, yeah, it doesn't really matter which way I do it. Okay, so she takes... 42 and then heals 12. So see, she's about to die. So I, I really need to be careful here. Um, a lot of that, this in this case, is, it's understandable because she, she's she's taking damage from SSB. But regardless, it's fine. Uh, so let's do this. Ideally, I'd want to wait till after um, Dizzy uh, S3s to reduce the damage coming from what's his name. But there you go. I sometimes her her lack of crit comes in pretty handy. Not always, but. That was a good example of that. Um, I forgot how much health that uh, S10A had. She seems she doesn't seem like she has that much. I haven't hit her with anything too hard. She didn't even get crit by SSB's uh, S3. Uh, and nobody has enough effect resistance for anything. Then uh, this happens. Uh, she landed both of those. I think through crit too. Okay. Let's. I guess I'll just hit you. I need. I really do need a healer now. Well, I mean, if I get a chance to, if she dies, it's fine. I think I, I still have this. Okay, counter. Ooh, I love this game, dude. He countered through. He killed her because she had a defense break, but he countered through miss and crit and uh, and the hit chance. That's fantastic. Oh wow, she missed the kill by like a millimeter. You can't heal, so that's fine. There we go. So, despite lot, lots of bad luck and lots of uh, poor decisions on my part, we, we, we made it out pretty well. Uh, like I said, this is pretty inconsequential. I need to get back to doing Guild Wars early in the morning when like my attacks matter. Um, but yeah, for now that's fine. So, like I said, I'm gonna go show. I'm gonna go show off my Ruel. She survived this time, but that's just because I babied her and put her into like. I went out of my way to make sure I was in matches that she was taking some damage, but she wasn't taking too much damage. Like if I take her into a, a Vildred, she's just gonna die. Like she almost always dies to Vildred. Yes, I know you're supposed to put. Um, where is it? Or is it uh, Water's Origin? And that's what I run her on. It's not maxed yet. It's like 3% CR in increase. It's, it's not going to really make or break her. Um, like I said, I mean, look at these stats. Uh, 175 speed, uh, 180, and 1600. Uh, or 1800, 18,000 and 1600 defense. 150, 162 F-Res. And she still got affected by that one character. Um, but these are like... Okay, yes, she's running level 75 gear, lots of level 75 gear, right? But these are stats that, like, people with level 90 gear run, 
Of course, they probably have a little more like uh, 1800 defense, uh, which is fine. But a lot of them have 18 to maybe 2000 HP. No, nobody has like a 22k 18 or even 20, 20 or 2000 health, uh, defense. Uh, like 180. So here, so I can get her to 180 by boosting this. Uh, but as you can see, this boot, I rolled like two or three. I think two or three into into uh, defense and like two or two or three into health uh, flat health I don't remember which one it was um, I could boost this piece but this is a conversion piece this is a conversion equipment piece and I this is the like the first 200 batch I have for conversion piece 90 boosting and I really want to save this for a better rolled piece um, I got really shafted with these two rolls into regular health. I had a max health roll, and if I had rolled like at least one time there, um, I would have been pretty happy about that. But uh, like I said, I would have been happy. So of course they roll into everything except that. Um, fortunately, I mean I did get lucky, no crit chance, but uh, defense is good. Health, <sighs> flat health, and a health percentage. It's just, it's just painful um, personally. Um, and then five more speed will get her at 180. So. This boosted, I'd probably say, maybe 1,700 defense. Not a lot of HP. Probably, what, 1,850? 1,500, and then 180 speed, which, again, 180. it's 180 to 200. And 200 is, it comes down to, like, how people prioritize. If they prioritize more speed, she'll probably, she hits around 200, maybe 210 at, at the most. I don't see like 220, 230, 240 speed Ruels. Uh, so it goes from 180 at the low end of 90 gear. I'm talking like 90 arena tier gear. I'm talking about the low end is like 180. The high end is like 200, 210, pushing maybe 220 at, at max. And that's, that's that's like sacrificing a lot of other stats. Um, but yeah, like 180 is fine. Like if you ever 180, go ahead. Um, and then 150 uh, effect resistance is, is pretty decent. Um, Again, people at the top, like the top 10 RTA players, are pushing like 200 effect resistance, uh, maybe 200 speed, maybe 2000 HP, and maybe 18 defense. But my stats aren't really far off from that, and like I said, I, she's just very underwhelming to me. Like, she dies. Like, they sneeze at her and she dies. Um, I skilled this up. Uh, on her S1, she heals for 1500 HP, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep her on this. Uh, Touch of Rekos did come in pretty well there. I mean, I was just looking for something else like AOE healing. Um, but I think, yeah, I don't know. I, it's 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 kind of hard to beat this, but Touch of Rekos is pretty irritating. I'm not gonna lie, uh, especially when you fight other people who have it uh, on their Ruels. Uh, you want a little faster, so you want to emphasize more speed if you're running Touch of Rekos. Maybe like 200 speed, uh, so you can turn cycle faster and then activate Touch of Rekos a little better. Um, but as it is, I think I might just stick with this. Like I said, maybe if I get like a plus 30 touch of Rekos later and 190 speed Ruel, then that's something I'll start considering. Because at that point, it's 10% HP, which is 2% more than this, and it's across the whole team. Uh, and I won't really have to worry too much about the combat readiness increase if I'm running like 190, close to 200. Um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, like I said, th that would take 90 gear, and it would take, like, very well rolled 90 gear. I'm, I'm considering this, but like I said, uh, this is the first batch of two... This is the first, you know, 200 uh, stone batch of conversion equipment, uh, 90 gear equipment uh, boosting materials. Uh, and to go for this is is kind of annoying that it's it's health. I mean, this, this defense roll is, is pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, you could get something... Like, especially when there's people out there who have something like... Like they they boost they'll boost this to like you know ninety and down here they've got like thirty six thirty seven defense and it's just like I'm gonna boost this I'm gonna get what twenty six twenty twenty seven defense twenty seven percent like it's just such a shame uh, like especially when you compare it to something like this where is this? where are you uh, there's a good one I mean this is a piece of ninety gear I boosted like thirty six HP on this there's an HP flat stat substat. Uh, but th that's not so bad. It just rolled in. It, it just bonded in. Like when I when I rolled it, it gave me that, and then I, I it went up to 220 after I 90'd it. Uh, but there was no rolls in there. All the rolls went into health, which is you know it's pre it's pretty good. But that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Like imagine if this was 
if it was like this on that boot, like, but yeah, so that kind of sucks. The hunt for a better boot. I've been farming Banshee like crazy just because I really need to boost this boot. Like everything else on her is fine. Um, this is sort of going off of Guild War and becoming like a Ruel discussion video, I guess. Uh, I might make like a separate video for that or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about like the build and her gear later and, and all that stuff. Probably do like some units at a time, um, like like showcases or some shit. Uh, I'm not super the biggest fan of showcases just because I don't have like. Like, especially, like, a lot of people aren't really mullet very well, like, this, she's missing 20% healing, now, I've never won or lost off, well, I mean, maybe, I haven't paid too much attention, but, I mean, like, this 20% healing isn't that big a deal, uh, her S2 tends to, like, overheal anyway, like, it heals more than they need, than you need to, so it's not that big a deal, but yeah, I think, uh, I'll have to boost this, because sometimes, like, when I'm healing herself, or, uh, who's the other one, um, like, MLCC, uh, 28. It, it won't full heal her, which could be pretty useful, but again, like, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, there's my CC. I'll probably talk about her later as well in a different video. But yeah, I, I've gone on too far now. Um, that was just sort of like talking about Ruel and, and how she did during this Guild War. Um, you guys have seen my Guild Wars. She tends to, like, just get shattered. Uh, I take her into RTA and she just gets one shot by everything. It's, it's pretty irritating. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess let me know. I mean, is yours weaker and it survives more, or is yours like, is my is my build just a scrub build? I mean, you know, obviously that's that's what I'm asking there. So, it is what it is. Yeah, but that's that. <laughs>